What's up guys? Tony Snuff here, meaning I am Tony and all of this great stuff is Snuff. Thanks again for tuning back into my channel on Snuff Reviews. That's right, I review the Snuff and I bring it to you. So get up off your Pornhub and Spank Wire, stop jacking your meat, you sick, sick bastards. Whip out your Snuff and let's get to sniffing this shit. So, um, again, thank God it's Saturday. Hopefully it lasts fucking forever because this is the first full weekend I'm getting off of work. Finally, after over a month and a half of not getting any days off. Um, funny story, um, a guy actually threatened my career because he didn't believe that I actually got a parent signature and he tried to accuse me of forging a signature. I'm a cop by trade, so why the hell would I forge a parental signature? It's stupid. So, um, yeah, he's being forced retired out of the military and is being a douchebag and I guess is trying to bring people down with him and it's not working in his favor and he's actually probably going to lose a stripe or two over the uh, the false accusation so that's going to be really funny when that happens piece of shit I wanted to like beat the shit out of this guy yesterday um anyways um so we're going to go ahead and um since it's Saturday I'm going to answer the uh, the question of the week and um I forgot who it came from because my YouTube decided to delete all of my personal messages I've gotten this question a lot over the past couple months and the way that this one was asked, it was really funny. It was like, hey, Tony, I got a question for you. What snuffs actually make you sneeze because you have such a high tolerance and I've never seen you sneeze on camera? And if there are any that make you sneeze, what are they and how do you prevent yourself from sneezing? And uh, that's actually a really good question. Um, the easiest way, well, we'll start from the beginning. Yes, there are several snuffs that make me sneeze. Um, the six photo cheetah um, sometimes makes me sneeze. Um, any of the menthols or the medicated snuffs, you know, give me the tingly feeling. Some of them make me sneeze, some of them don't. Um, this guy, the buttercup sweet scotch dry snuff, that actually made me sneeze a couple times. Um, but the easiest way to make it to where you don't sneeze is whenever you you sniff the snuff. First off, like if you're doing the pinch method, don't stick your finger inside your nose like this. Just hold it under your nose and take it in a, a little bit softer. That might get it to where you don't sneeze. And then the other way, like if you're using a bullet or such, a, something like this, whenever you sniff it in like this, <coughs> that was something that did that one. The easiest way, like I kind of feel a sneeze coming out now, just pinch your nose together like that and the, uh, the sneeze sensation goes away because you don't have the snuff particles floating around in there or stuck in the hairs in your nose or anything. Whenever you push it on like that, it actually pushes it to the side of your nose and it compacts it in there so you're not going to sneeze as much. So yeah, there you go. Easiest ways not to do it. Um, but yes, there are snuffs that make me sneeze. No, I don't have a super high tolerance for it. I just think of these little tips and tricks on how I don't, you know, how not to sneeze so I don't look like a retard. Um, before we get into the mixture video for today, as you can see in the title down here, it's Vanilla Coke, which everybody likes some nice Vanilla Coke. Um, I got a package in, a real small order, but um, I got the 2013 Merry Christmas snow. I just say 2013 because the ornament on it says 2013. I'm pretty sure this is just the overflow from the Christmas packages that they had. Um, so let's see what's in this thing. All right. Anyway, okay. There is. Where is this? Oh wow. Okay. Delakia chocolate rose or rose chocolate, which is really funny. Um, all these are made by Delakia, which is an Indian snuff, which means it usually comes in the shitty containers, the shitty plastic tins that I always show you guys. But these are actually in some decent little top boxes. They're only 8 gram top boxes, but they're actually in top boxes. Alright, so we got rose chocolate. And that's one that uh, that smells. You can actually smell all of these through their containers. That actually smells pretty good. There's plum cake. I don't know about that one yet. I don't like plum cake. Oops. And then there is 
Blueberry mint. Ooh, that one smells real nice. So those are going to be on the, I'm eventually going to review. Um, hopefully when I get a camera angle better, then you can actually see, because I have snuffs that go this far off of the camera angle on this side, and that far off of that side. Um, so I can't really show you guys the awesome camera angle that I usually have, because my iMovie, of course, fucked up. But I can do this thing where I do like that, and I'll show you all those. And then I come all the way back over here and wrap around the table and show you all those. Um, I'm trying to get it to where I have a good frame, a good framework for you guys. It's not working out for me right now. And then the other thing that came in the package is the Sir Walter Scott's Fine Border Snuff Number 1. I don't know how to say what they have in calligraphy, but that's what it is if you want to look at it. This guy right here, Sir Walter Scott, and it actually comes in a glass, <laughs> a glass thing, and um, yeah, it smells different. That's all I'm gonna say right now because I'm not reviewing this one today. All right, so that's another week's worth of snuff reviews right there for you guys. And I'm not getting any more new orders in until I review all these uh, snuffs over here. Which I've got, like, let me see, one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve weeks. So I got three months of snuff reviews for you guys right here before I have to make another order. So we'll be good on that. So let's go ahead and jump into this, uh, this, um, this mixture review. Again, we are going to be doing vanilla Coke today. But everybody likes a good vanilla Coke. Some of them like it out of the can. Some of them like it out of the top. Oh, watch this. <coughs> and I haven't even used any snuff yet. So there you go. That answers your question. I do sneeze. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into this. I am going to be using Tote Coke and Tote Vanilla. Easy combination. Alright, I haven't gotten the ratio of this one right yet because I haven't really done too much experimenting but we'll try to hurry this up because I'm already at 7 minutes and 40 seconds right now okay. that's freaking alright so you have the vanilla and the coke okay as you know that the toke smells don't last too long um, while they're in your nose um, and the, co the, the toke coke and the toke vanilla are pretty much the same on the scent level, so you could just go half and half with them. I like to go a little bit more on the Coke side. So, like, I'm going to do, I'm going to make a decent little knot of this because I'm going to use this one throughout the day today. So, I'm going to do five scoops of each, and then I'm going to come back and do an extra scoop of Coke. So, I'm going to do six scoops of Coke for five scoops of vanilla, so I get a little bit more of a Coke scent. So, we'll go one, two, three. Four, five, six of the coke into the mortar, and one, two, three, oh, three, four, and five of vanilla. All right, and then push those to the side, get your little piston out, and grind it together. And again, like I say in all the mixture videos, you don't have to have a piston and mortar to do this. Um, I do because I like to get a little bit more ground together, and it makes sure that they're consistently mixed instead of just trying to shake them up or anything, because then it's still not going to get a good mix. But if you grind them together, then there's no better way of mixing it than that. Right, I know, I know, we're going straight again. All right, give them a little bottle. And these little bottles, definitely good to have. Um, you get them from MrSnuff.com. 
real good for, you know, like a day or half a day or whatever if you just want to make some good ones. And, I mean, there's all sorts of bottles, sizes, and everything. So, I'd suggest getting some. All right, let's see how this worked. The only thing about grinding is it gets a little bit thinner, a little bit finer grind, so it goes right to the back of your nose. All right. Now, whenever you first take this in, you get the uh, the burn of the tote coke. If you've used tote coke, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that bubbly type feeling in your nose, like you would get from a regular coke. But instead of smelling the coke with it, you get the bubbly feeling with the vanilla smell. And actually, it seems like the vanilla smell vanishes a little bit quicker than the Coke. So you get like a residual Coke smell after the, the vanilla smell. It kind of dissipates a little bit. So it actually is a very good uh, combo. Vanilla Coke. Coke, 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 Vanilla. They mate. They have. You put them in here. You grind them up a little bit. And then you come out with a little Coke, Coke or a uh, vanilla Coke baby. <laughs> so, guys. I hope you guys try it out, and I hope you all like the uh, the vanilla coke combo. It's a real easy one to do, and it's usually one that of both uh, scents people have laying around that, you know, they haven't used in a while or anything. I know I use the coke on almost a regular basis. I have 50 grams of it, but both of these are pretty much half gone. Um, so, yeah, definitely uh, give it a shot. It's totally worth trying, and I uh, hope you guys... Got the question answered that you were looking for uh, about me sneezing, and I even gave y'all a sneeze. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for coming to the channel. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down here next to my boobies, and leave me a comment um, if you've tried the, uh, the vanilla Coke. Let me know how you liked it. If there's any other combinations that you have tried or that you want me to try, let me know, and we will definitely get that done for you on a Saturday. Make sure you leave some questions in the comment section so I can get to answering them. And I hope you guys' weekend lasts forever. Thanks again for watching. I am Tony Snuff, and I hope you guys have an incredible weekend. Thanks again for watching. Anyway, Tony Snuff!